All right, so for those of you that are new to this kind of magic, those of you who are wanting to work with demons and don't really understand <clears throat> what happens when you build up a relationship with a demon or if you have a patron demon, especially if you have a patron, you need to understand that there's some things that you don't want to overlook, okay? And here are those things. First of all, if you're trying to work with a spirit that is like Astaroth, okay, you need to really thoroughly do research to understand how your personality is going to end up changing. Because with every single spirit that you, that you summon, especially when you're building a bond with them, you need to realize that you're going to have to be ready for that shift that they're going to be bringing in your life, okay? It can be a positive or a negative shift. Not only that, but you have to realize that they're also going to be bringing forward traits to you that you're going to start to show, all right? There are going to be means of communication that change. There will be body language that starts to change. Your delivery of words when it comes to your speech, those change, okay? Your patterns, your habits will start to change. You definitely start to take on the personality of these spirits. This is why you want to make sure that you're doing your fucking research before you jump into a pact with just some random spirit. And that's what I wanna to say to those of you who are new to this. Those of you who want to get into a pact, those of you who want to work closely with certain spirits, make sure that you either get help with understanding what that spirit can potentially bring forward into your life because I can guarantee you, even if you're not asking for anything to be manifesting in your life, it will, okay? You can set boundaries, that doesn't matter. When you're working with these spirits, what happens is you put your livelihood into the hands of these spirits. You give them the ability to bring forward the things that you're asking of. While you're doing that, they have pieces of themselves that become a part of you. Because at the end of the day, they actually are extensions of your consciousness. These are, these are mental energies that you can pull forward to utilize for your benefit. Just because you can do that, that doesn't mean that you want to overlook details, all right? You want to be thorough when you're walking this path because shit can go wrong at any given time. So you wanna make sure you're paying attention to every single fucking detail. Make sure that you're banishing and you're cleansing often, okay? Make sure that you know that if you have extreme amounts of anxiety and you're really, really afraid or intimidated by certain spirits, you might not want to fucking go and summon someone like Gushian, okay? You might not want to go summon someone like Belial or even fucking Lucifuge. You might want to stick to summoning someone that is more of a caring nature, more calming and soothing, like Bion. Or someone who is more calming and, you know, patient, like King Paimon. Okay, when you're getting higher into the spectrums and different qualities of magic, okay, you want to really pay attention to which spirits house what kind of energies, which corresponding planets, you know, they're aligned to, because that will determine what your life is going to end up consisting of. That will determine what kind of Traits you're going to start to be showing as you move forward with working with these spirits. This is something that really is fucking important. I know I keep saying it, but it's very important to pay attention to. You do not want to overlook these small things because things can just turn for the worst. Okay. A lot of possession <laughs> fucking ends up happening when you're not really paying attention to how you're energetic body is changing, how your tone, your life, how everything is changing. If you're not paying attention and doing grounding exercises or allowing yourself to sit in meditation, if there are spirits that 
directly align with the clip hoth, all right? You have to allow yourself to take the time to relax for a second if you're going to be initiating into these things because this can fuck your life up and it can fuck your life up for good if you're not careful. A lot of challenges arise. A lot of different flaws of yourself, they start to show, okay? And it becomes this internal battle. And while you're battling yourself, yes, you'll have this spirit to help you, but you have to understand all of them are not going to be caring and kind toward you. All of them are not going to be so patient and soothing. So don't be in such a hurry to just jump into a pact or jump into working with a certain spirit if you have no real experience with them. This is why I recommend if you're new and you're a beginner, have someone who is experienced show you how to actually communicate with those spirits if you feel like you're not ready. Because it's not going to turn out well if you just jump into shit and you don't have the means to protect yourself. You don't have the means to be able to get the fuck out of there. If things go wrong, okay? You have to exercise these necessary precautions for sure. That's really all that I have to say within this video. I hope that this is a powerful and effective, informative video. For those of you who are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that you turn on post notifications so that you can get all of my personal, new, daily uploaded content. My social media tags are going to be right here on the screen for you to see. Make sure you give me a follow if you want to reach out for readings, etc. I'll have my links in the description. I'm definitely going to be also posting, you know, a video of my services that I'm going to be offering so you guys can really see everything that I have to offer. And if you feel inclined to, please come forward. If you would like some help, you want to be initiated into a pack, you want to understand what it's like to work with a certain spirit, you want to get a reading, you want to find out who your guides are, you want messages of the deceased, anything that you guys could possibly think of. If I'm experienced in it, I will definitely partake in it. I'll definitely bring that information forward to you. Thank you guys for supporting me. I'll see you guys in the next video.